Hello everyone, so welcome to another video on this channel. So in the last video you maybe already heard that I'm gonna do some traveling in the upcoming month and yeah today is basically two days before our first flight. First flight since nearly two years so I'm currently preparing everything so I thought I'd do a video because um, the last flight I did I still did with the f-stop Satori and I think I have a video on how I packed it on this channel but now I have a new pack here the NYA Evo Fjord 60 and I thought I'd like to show you how I pack it how I hope to make things a lot easier during transit and everything so it has some yeah options or some features which I like much more than with the f-stop and one of those is the way you can put in the ICUs because it has a very large opening here at the back and I'm gonna show you how I facilitate this so first of all what do I bring so I have here the medium ICU and in it um, I have the 7200 lens behind the lens cloth here then I put in a hard drive which I use for backup and also the cable release then here at the bottom this is where my zoom h1 goes and here on the side are all my filters then this spot here is where I put the camera on which I'm currently filming and wrapped in here is the GoPro. Up here I have flashlight and here I have some batteries. So not too much stuff, but it's good to have all this core equipment in this ICU because in case at some point they weigh this pack or have some problems with me taking it on the plane, I can just take out this ICU which contains all the very valuable stuff and bring this on the plane instead. Also it makes it much easier if you're on the plane you want to store stuff you can just quickly get out this ICU put it under the seat and then store the backpack in a compressed form up in the compartments. So how do I pack it and what do I like about this new pack? So I just attached here this closing flap so you can completely remove it but now it's completely closed and you can carry it like this and now the nice thing is just put this aside I can just drop it in from the back here so I don't need to top load it as I had to do with the app stop bags so the opening here at the back is wide enough so I can just drop it in and if at some point I need to take it out I can also just take it out from here now I close the back here and I can then load other stuff from the top and the nice thing is what I showed in other videos already there is this mesh or this fabric in between which avoids that if I put stuff on top it will fall out if I remove the ICU so that's the first thing and then also I like to keep things organized and modular so the first module is the medium ICU with all the camera gear and then the second module so to say it's here my Dell XPS the 15 inch version and with it so I have here a nice bag for it good and protected and in the front here I have my mouse the hard drive and some cables so also very compact and this part this goes into the front of the bag so I hope I can show you because it's quite big so I hope it will fit here and I just put this one as it is and that's a nice thing so it fits even with the bag in here so I have to press a bit but it just goes in perfectly and now if I go to the check-in they want to weigh my pack what I will do usually I will remove this one because this here also nearly weighs two kilos with everything and typically I would then carry the, the laptop just under the arm and get this one for weighing if they want to do so and afterwards after security check and everything I can put it in here and just have one backpack to carry around I have some other stuff here some cables and also the charger for my phone I just put it in here and yeah that's about everything that goes in front here I also have some tape which is always good to bring 
and then I can close this. Um, also what I did, I basically extended here this front compartment so there are some straps which you can use to make it yeah, smaller but with a laptop in it I just extended it. So that's a nice option for this pack and just see how huge this is. Now I have a lot of space here on the top which is where I just put my um, some warming jacket because it's winter or beginning of winter here in Germany especially when we come back so I need some warm jacket then batteries go in here and then travel documents and also my purse and some athletic greens if I need to drink some vitamins and yeah that's the bag packed and yeah I think it's currently like 10 kilos <laughs> so if I remove the notebook I think I'm at eight a little over eight and that's currently what's allowed for Lufthansa so for Lufthansa it should be perfectly fine and yeah otherwise I'm also flexible as I said I have everything modular so if I want it now for example I get to the security they want to see the cameras I just open this and I can simply take this out and yeah that's a nice thing to do and with the EPSO bag for example I always had to get it out from the top and as I, as I showed you I just put some documents and everything there so I would first always have to remove this stuff put it somewhere get out the ICU and this just took much more time and with the wide opening that the NYA pack has it's much less hassle and yeah I hope this smooths the traveling experience quite excited so hopefully everything goes right and the next video I'm not sure what the next video will be maybe some seascapes but it will likely be from Portugal or I have an intermediate video about some post processing so let's see how I schedule everything uh, yeah I hope you like this video also if you have questions about this pack and yeah just ask I try to answer them in some upcoming videos or in the comments directly yeah see you on the next video bye